You are listening to Crosstalk. A safe place to discuss addiction, recovery, harm reduction, and everything in between. Support for this podcast comes from the Kentucky Opioid Response Effort and Advocates of Recovery. Content and production by the team at Turning Point Recovery Community Center. Now, buckle up and get ready for the show. Welcome everyone to Crosstalk Recovery, the recovery podcast that supports all forms of recovery. I'm Matt Lewis, and I'm here with Sam Peterson, Nathan Brockett, Joey Colson. Uh, you need your microphone back. <laughs> Unprofessional. There Joey we, Colson. Like, hey. go ahead and get your microphone set up, you know? I, uh, I mean, I guess you were just too busy still trying to search on AI to to what start. to talk about uh, on, the re- uh, on the thing, man. <laughs> right here. You know? Yeah. You're fitting in just fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Happy Recovery Month, yeah, everybody. Right. Yeah. 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 right? All right. <clears throat> it's awesome to be in recovery and celebrate recovery. And, you know, I I celebrate recovery every day because of where my life is today compared yeah. to where it was. Absolutely. But to have a month that we kind of, is kind of dedicated to it is cool. And, you know, so we just wanted to... Do a podcast about, you know, what it means to me or what it means to you, recovery, and what it's celebrating like it means to you. <laughs> so um, I know, like I was kind of just said, I know for me it's realizing how much I've gained in the short time I've been in recovery, uh, the peace and joy that we talk about all the time on here uh, in my life today, um, the way I handle situations and problems in my life the pale in comparison to the problems of my past. Right. Um, the people I've gotten to meet, like you guys, yep. uh, the work we do to trying to help people, uh, that makes you feel good and yeah. inspires you to continue to do this. Um, so many, so many things I love about um, my recovery and recovery in general. And it looks different. I love how it looks different for everybody, mm-hmm. you know, and, but it can still be, there's so many success stories and different, you know, under each different light, there's a different success story. And that's so encouraging to somebody like, well, I don't know if I could do what you're doing. You know, you don't have to. No. You know, <laughs> no, you, you don't. just got to find what works for you. Um, you know, it's about living a better life and uh, living a happy life filled with joy. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is, you know, <clears throat> as we get sober, what I want out of my life may be completely different than yours. You know, I mean, the, yeah. I don't. I think the individuality individuality we have gained is a part of it because you know yeah. my, my my personality was just finding and using more for <laughs> for so long, and uh, now, now that's not what it's about. So I actually get to know who I am, yeah. and uh, you know, three and a half years into this, plus a little extra, hey, I'm starting finally to figure some of that out. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah finally. <laughs> huh? I know. I, I feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. And this recovery month thing, man, it's, you know, it's not just here in old little Padu- Paducah, Kentucky, neither. It's no. all across the nation. So we're getting, like, you're talking about the individuality. We, you know, you go on social media, you know, and see all the different ways people recover, mm-hmm. you know, all these. And you get these cool uh, uh, posts about celebrities and people that are recovering, been sober for 20 years, saying happy recovery month and things like that. So it makes us feel like a, a tribe, you know what I mean, of, of great people doing great things. And you get to see – how lives have changed and continue to change and get better and better and better, you know. I think it's important to recover out loud. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, to, to let Absolutely. people mm-hmm. people know that, yeah, yes, I am a person in recovery. I'm doing better. Mm-hmm. People can it, people can change. Yeah. You can recover. I know for like, for me, Recovery man, Month, I get a lot of gratitude. Yeah. Uh, like, because I, I think about where I was four years ago, and it's just, it was a, not a good place, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, my life is so great now. Would everybody enjoy it? Probably not, but I think it's awesome, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, I find gratitude in that. And then seeing others go down their paths and watching people, man, just get their whole lives mm-hmm. back or figure out what life is. Right. You know? I had no idea what life was truly about. None. Yeah. And, and then... Uh, People get to get more involved too, you mm-hmm. know. Being that we work for a recovery community center, we're kind of in the middle of everything, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, we've we've been doing it for a little bit, so we've seen all the different things we do that we get involved in, how how we how we show our community right. what goes on for people in recovery, and then we have new additions that get to they get to be part of the you know the the big month long celebration <laughs> of get getting sober and living a better life, and and you know 
getting to see that recovery isn't boring. Right. It is fun. We oh, can't right. have fun in recovery. Yes. We're not just sitting around just like, woohoo, we're sober. What do we do now? <laughs> yeah, I guess we got our big event or the <laughs> big thing going on next week. We're all yeah. going to be up in the Capitol. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a blast. We all get to go up there and yep. get in the matter van, taking the podcast. Mm-hmm. Our supervisor is going to be speaking. On. Yeah. With yeah. the right, I think right next to the governor. That's a big, you know, that's a big accomplishment. What, his excellence? Yeah, his excellency. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and we get to show off, uh, you know, what recovery looks like in the old, old Paducah, Kentucky way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And big city folks up there. I don't think Frankfurt's that much bigger than no. here. No. I wouldn't know. I'm no. From, no, I'm I think it's about, it maybe smaller. Actually. I was going to say, it, it's definitely smaller. Yeah. But going back to the individuality, man, that's. That is a, a really cool thing about this because, you know, I don't know that we would all be hanging out. No, you know? no, we definitely wouldn't. I mean, we got, we're kind of all a bunch of nerds and stuff. So we, we connect on some levels, but like, you know, if we hadn't met through in recovery, we probably would have never no. crossed paths or even given each other a chance or just taken advantage of each, I mean, each other in any way we could. We could have, we could have run into each other in a, you know, a, I feel yeah. like Heroin Sam and I Dan. ran into yeah. each other, probably bumped into each other's yeah. bar somewhere, and I cussed him under my breath. Yeah, know? probably, <laughs> probably. Uh, I mean, I'm not even a really cool guy in recovery, so the fact that you guys hang out with me is pretty awesome. I don't know if y'all just, <laughs> I don't know if y'all just stuck with me or what. Maybe that's what it is. Nathan's our know. little brother. Yeah, <laughs> with the grayest hair, it's terrible. <laughs> so, Joey, um, what does recovery month mean to you? Yeah, what did Google say? Uh, or your Snapchat, Snapchat AI. Snapchat AI. Said, Glad uh, you asked. Yeah. It said, uh, That's a great just, question. <laughs> what does Joey think about recovery? <laughs> Snapchat said bring awareness to the individual that has overcome addiction. There right. You go. But for me, recovery looks like, for me, it's actually like I'm learning to embrace, you know, life, financial yeah. hardships, struggles. Um, I mean, it all sounds bad, but these are things I ran away from. Before, right, right. yeah, that I neglected, or I, you know, like with school, like right yeah. now I'm struggling, but I'm embracing it. And I'm learning how to deal with it, and that's for me, it's good. Oh, uh, absolutely, yeah, certainly well, agree. You grow through that. Yeah. And it's absolutely. I mean, life on life, it's it's not a joke when we talk about you know the rubber hits the road. Life on mm-hmm. life is real. <laughs> um, it's, it's, that's what. Recovery and yeah. the programs yeah. that a lot of us work uh, teach us is how to deal with those things and not let them exactly run from them. We face them. You know, mm-hmm. I'm big on that. Facing my fears head on, facing my struggles head on. I grow through it. I become stronger <laughs> as you persevere through it and conquer them and, you know, complete these goals and tasks and handle different situations, financial struggles, school, all that. Then you, you feel uh, encouraged, yeah. you know, and then. You can continue to go like it makes it easier the next time. Yeah. You know? I know I'm motivated by others. When I see Certainly. others doing well, I'm like, man, I need to step my game up. Like when I bowl better than you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely bowled better than me last week for sure. <laughs> um, but my average is still higher. I just looked. We just got our, our uh, oh. email. So. Yeah. We're going to do a bowling podcast soon where we just talk about bowling. I'm sure everyone's. Waiting, on. you should <laughs> yeah. do a I'm holding their breath for that one. Bite the fingernails yeah. at the bowling. When are they going to do one all about bowling? Yeah. <laughs> Show off the bowling team. What <laughs> thanks for sure. If I wasn't in recovery, I would not be bowling no. nah. for fun <laughs> and pain to, to bowl. Like, we what? don't. But that's the thing. We don't even. I mean, I don't bowl for fun. Okay, yeah. I bowl for the fellowship. Oh yeah, I bowl for that. You know. The recovery. I'm with my brothers in recovery. Yeah. We've been doing it for two years. It's a, like it's the best those, meeting I go to. I mean, me and Sam. <laughs> it is right. it's the it's best meeting it. I me go and to. Sam see each other all the time, but a couple of those guys I only see when we go bowling. Yeah. You know, and it's just a way to stay connected. And you know, we talk about what we're going through, and we encourage oh, yeah. each other, and we tear each other down. Probably more of that than anything. But <laughs> it's you know, fun though. It's, yeah. it's, it's a healthy tear down. Yeah. Right. Good old exactly. fashioned ribbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call back. The, the, the thing is, is the guys we bowl with, man, I could call any of those guys anytime <laughs> and they're bam. Yeah. You know? Except they're Roger. friends. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe he'd probably be asleep. He works for a night shift. You know? I'm going to give you a little cold sign there. <laughs> yeah. I, I get excited about the recovery month stuff because of, you know, not only do we get to go. Places I never thought I'd get to go. You know, last time we went, it was uh, at the Capitol. It's going to be at the Capitol. Or we went to the old Capitol, and uh, this time it's going to be at the 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 the, the new Capitol, I guess. 
yeah. and uh, you know, being around all those people. And not only do we get to go places to do things, we we do our own events here, just like I'm sure mm-hmm. many other places are, are, are doing. I hope they are. You know, they should be. It's a perfect opportunity to do it. Um, we'll be right back. As a woman in recovery, I know how important having a fellowship of women has been for me. Come join us at the Women of Worth All Recovery Support Group here at Turning Point, 415 Broadway, Paducah, Kentucky, every Friday night at 6 p.m., where we discuss our personal experiences in recovery. Hope to see you there. One thing I have always wondered is who put the alphabet in alphabetical order. At Turning Point, our goal is to help you put your life back in order. If you struggle or have struggled with substance use disorder and are in need of help, come see us at 415 Broadway Street, Paducah, Kentucky, or call 270-444-3621 and sign up for peer support services with one of our friendly staff who have lived experience with addiction. Hope to see you soon. We're going to be doing um, uh, a fellowship at four event yep. where we bring people together as a, a gratitude slash potluck meeting, get people together. Because everybody likes food. You know, yeah. it's a good opportunity yeah. to get people They're together. meetings. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I think the 26th or something like I don't want to. Is it the, the paint party? Yeah, that is the paint party. Yeah, that's yeah. where we're going to be. 24. 24th. 24th, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's where we're going to be doing some painting and hopefully make a nice little. A little picture that we can, you know, show off and stuff like that. If I come, can I throw paint at you? I'm, that's why I put on there. Wear clothes that you don't mind getting paint on. Because I yeah. imagine somebody's going to get paint slung on. I'm upset I'm going to miss that one. Yeah. I want to put it paint in balloons and throw them at you. Like that water way. balloons. I'm all right with it. I'm that guy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, recovery. Room. Splat. I mean, you <laughs> know, that some people, that is how they do their art. You yeah. know? Like, just hey man, it's throw all about paint it. at a canvas it's and, his, like, sell it for a million it's dollars. Fun. It's ex- expressionism. That's you know? okay. Yeah. And, the, and the whole idea behind all of it is just to have fun and enjoy each other's company and recovery. Because <laughs> I used to not like, and I don't, I didn't used to enjoy people, and now I do. You right. know, and 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 I can, I'm a person that I feel like that people do enjoy me in small doses, but somewhat <sighs> I can be enjoyed. You know, know. Some, it, sometimes larger doses. It's okay. Okay, I, I can give. I mean, that. I wish we got. We don't get much of Nathan. Out of work. No. He's well, family man. Okay, let's talk yeah. about what recovery's brought me then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, go ahead, let's man. Let's get into what really what, what, what it's brought you scares me to death. I but, know, you know, I know. Uh, exactly what we're talking about. It's different for everybody. <laughs> you know, it, you may yeah, not want a family. You hit it on the head. It is different. Like you know, everybody finds their niche in this. Basically, mine mm-hmm. mine is something that that has been you know a family. It's something I never really just had and. Recovery's brought me lots of it. You know, I'm a yeah. family man. I'm a dad. A lot of family. Yeah. I have uh, four children. You know, yeah. I've got a, a boy that's a, a year and three weeks old. And I'm like, this all happened in a matter of a couple of years. I've only been three and a half years sober. and it's But that is, that's my drive, my motivation, things like that. It's I get to appreciate it at home every night. There hasn't been probably about four nights that I haven't been able to rock my son to sleep. I'm present to all those things. So yeah, man. You know, and that's the good stuff to me. You know, I don't, I'm I, maybe not so much on the social part. I like it, but if I'm going to be somewhere, you know, where I want to be, it's at my house with my kids, with my family. You it's know. good stuff, though, it is, man. You know, and it's it's awesome because recovery is like that for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. People lose families when they're in addiction. People, you know, burn burn those bridges that that they took for, that things are for granted. Yeah, and I'm getting to go to my mom's house. My mom wants me there. She wants to come see me. Things yeah, like that. Wow, you know. That let you bring a backpack in? Oh, well, I can do that. I just got to take my shoes off at the door because well, they got a new carpet. And back I'm, in addiction, I would never let anybody with a backpack come in the house. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, I was scared about walk out with it. Where's my TV? <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, That's a good point. Well, I love it. I mean, mom's house. <laughs> I'm going to stay at mom's. Yeah. Still, nonetheless, it's, it's, it's awesome to see just the, the massive amount of support that recovery gets. I mean, all, right. all throughout the year, of course, because we're in the middle of it, like I said. But, you know, this month, really, we went to the proclamation signing last year where they where they um, designated, I think it, it was a day in September as, rec- as recovery day, you know what I mean? And uh, getting to do things like that, things that are, I feel involved, you know, and that purpose that comes behind it is mm-hmm. that that's 
awesome right there because I've never really had purpose. And we're all of us and everybody is part of a bigger thing here. You know, it's all for something. And the, that something is people's lives. Mm. You know, I, I felt like I was that one at one point that, that nobody cared about, that I was just a speck. And now, now I'm that maybe maybe an exclamation point. It's, it's, yeah. I'm sure there was people out there that cared. It's just uh, I didn't it, care if they cared. Maybe <laughs> didn't think they did because you know we live in that delusion. Yeah, right. in the addiction. Nobody you know, cares about me. I'm not oh. hurting anybody but me. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Joey, please love me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, Joey can love today, guys. You know, I let him fool you. He's a softy. Are what? you still coming back from that nap, Joey? You've been kind of. I'm sleepy. Oh, no, I was thinking of like not only is this recovery awareness month, this is also a deaf awareness month. Ah. Okay. Uh, I got a thing coming up next week on Zoom where I'm going to find out more about it. Because awesome. like I said, all this is all new to me. This is a, all these are my first, like, you know, overdose awareness recovery walk. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I wasn't here last year for it. So I'm going to get to find out what that is, and I'm excited yeah. about it. It's exciting to watch people grow in, yeah, in that aspect. Like, it's, it's so awesome and, and how, how involved that you've allowed yourself to be. You know what I'm saying? That's that's so cool because we all started somewhere too, and and you know, and you had you you being able to sign, you know, that's 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 really I didn't know it was Deaf Awareness Month. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I know I know it's uh, been awesome to watch you grow and gray like me. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. start catching up. Yeah. yeah, maybe one day I'll start going gray. Yeah, well, well, yeah. you got to have hair to do. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that? You, you got to hit the button. <laughs> hit the button. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you well, what you, were, <laughs> you did it, man. <laughs> when you talk, it just keeps going. Shut up, Cricket. Um, but you know, it's kind of weird. I was talking to Brandon the other day about you know, last month we had overdose awareness day on the 31st, like the day mm-hmm. before recovery mm-hmm. month starts. And it's kind of like I don't know if they planned it that way or if it was you know, but it, it's kind of like you have that realization that you know the loss that people experience through this disease and the real <laughs> the realness of this disease and how many people are dying from it and and then to have that and then go right into you know recovery month where you're celebrating it um you know it's Man. it's weird but it, it, it helps you like keep it real for you because i mean as much as we're talking about how great it is to be alive and recovering our lives today uh i mean the truth is it's we're lucky. Yeah, we're very yeah. lucky. It's killing people left and right. And uh, th- we're lucky to live in a state oh, like man. Kentucky For real? That, that has access to treatment, man. I mean, it's not like this all over the United States mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. They embrace harm reduction the yeah. way they do as and, well. And, uh, you know, I mean, if you if you need to go to treatment in Kentucky and you're you're willing to go, you can get, get there, there, man. Yeah. You can get there. Yeah, they'll help you. They got the um, badges of hope. The cops oh, yeah. will drive you yeah. to yeah. treatment. Yeah. <laughs> An angel initiative by the uh, Kentucky State Police. Kentucky State Police, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. can walk right in and be like, "I need treatment," and they'll go to work getting you in. I, I mean, think it's an amazing thing. Even most places around here are open minded. That if you reach yeah. out for help, they're calling somebody. Our library yeah. is one of the places you wouldn't think you could go into a library and get. You know, there's people you know and that just goes to show just how far-reaching recovery really is man you know you never know who you're talking mm-hmm. to you never know what they've experienced or what they believe in things like that you can get help anywhere i think the big the hardest part is just asking for it <laughs> yeah, and it, you know that's why well, i think it's i was t- touched on earlier with that recovering out loud well mm-hmm. it's so important you know for me when i was out there in addiction when i, I crossed that line and you know i <clears throat> I'm I'm using drugs intravenously and things. I thought there is no way I'm ever gonna. <clears throat> this is what I'm gonna die this way. Yeah. And uh, man, nowadays it's like you know because I didn't I never known anybody that was in, in the either. throes of addiction that had ever made it out. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy because I mean there is still stigma out there absolutely uh, associated with addiction, but as we have seen a lot lately through like. Even with our Purple People Savers, our Narcan <coughs> distribution boxes, like people in the community calling us, asking us to yep. put them out there. Mm-hmm. Like people are starting to take action and show that they care and put an effort in on their own part to do what they can to help save people's lives and try to battle this opioid epidemic. And I mean, it's so, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's yeah. encouraging. And we, and, and we, as a community are on the road to becoming a recovery ready community. And that's been an initiative around the state of Kentucky where they're basically, 
you know, they put up guidelines that you meet. And mm-hmm. if your community is, is, is up to par, then you'll be designated a recovery created community. And that's a big deal. You know no, I mean? luckily here, we, we, I mean, we were almost already there, yeah. you know, so I mean, it's just going to be few things getting into yeah. the line. And, and, and that's true. awesome. Yeah. We're, it's, it's in place. You know, mm-hmm. and people come to our area to get sober, to change. I mean, I did. You know, I'm not I, from here. I mean, I, I'm mm-hmm. not either. I'm from a different state. And then here I am thriving, you know, thank God for Kentucky and, 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 and what they have in place to save lives. We'll be right back. Hey, y'all. Did you know it's illegal to own just one guinea pig in Switzerland because they get lonely? Here at Turning Point, we don't want you to ever be lonely either. That's why we're open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Always feel free to come hang with our friendly staff and don't forget your guinea pig. We're located at 415 Broadway Street, downtown Paducah. Did you know that recovery from substance use disorder and mental health go hand in hand? That is why the caring and compassionate mental health professionals at Four Rivers Behavioral Health in Paducah are here to help you find your balance. They are proud of you for making the changes necessary to live a healthier life and would love to see you reach your full potential. Give them a call at 270-442-7121 or stop by the downtown location at 425 Broadway in Paducah, Kentucky. You know, because I'm sure all of us... In some form, probably would have been dead if we'd have kept going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, one of the things I'm really excited about that we're starting tomorrow yeah. is this being able to go into the hospitals and yeah. talk to people right after they've overdosed. There's been, like, a barrier, you know, there for a while. Mostly and, our felonies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that doesn't help nothing. But, but to us to be able to go in there right when people are at their most humbled and willing – to do something different, you know, when they've almost died. And I think that we're going to be able to reach a lot of people yeah. that Man, way. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And that's saying something for people like us. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's cool that we've earned the trust of our community. Yes. Like that just, that just, that's a big, uh, a big round of applause for just our community in general, just mm-hmm. allowing us to do things like that. To, because what if we're able to impact somebody that has never heard of recovery? That's in there, that, you know. Well, yeah. it's like what I was just talking about. What if you impact that one person that thinks that doesn't have hope? Mm-hmm. You get to go into <clears throat> somebody, see somebody on their worst day, and maybe give them a little hope, and and maybe be the little bit of instrument that that, that turns the tide for a person right. that really needs some help. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I know somebody had to be there for me. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. That's a big milestone for. You know, like like Matt said, man, that was that was a process to get that going. Yeah. So that's a W for not just turning point for recovery in general. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm thankful for that. And we're gonna do a lot of things that we never thought we'd get to do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you know, you got the matter van that mm-hmm. you do. We're we're part. We're, we we meet up with people on a consistent basis. They're just like, what do you guys do? Oh wow, that are always impressed. Always always like y'all should do this more often. Y'all should go here here and here and here. So it's like. It's almost just like you get it in one spot and it spreads. So, you know, positivity spreads. Like, is it laughter is contagious, positivity, stuff like that, it all spreads. And so, you know, being part of a solution to impact people is awesome. I know. Yeah. Out on the matter van, like, you went out Tuesday, and somebody's like, yeah, you need to go here. And then yeah. we're out there today, and these people are like, hey, you need to go here. Yeah. The and community lets about. you know where you need to go. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen – just in the short time you've been doing the matter van and then we've been having servicing the nine surrounding counties with the purple people savers, you know, you've seen the areas that we haven't really been able to reach or haven't mm-hmm. been like actively being out. And now we're out in them and people are responding to that. Yeah, you know? they are. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's like people want to be part of something good. They do. I, I, I truly believe that. I mean, when you get to help your community on a daily basis, on a daily basis, and you know, help families, and and you know, of course, we see some of the bad stuff too. Yeah, you know, um, but I mean, it's it's fulfilling yeah. to get to do a job that's helping people, especially mm-hmm. if you're anything like me. And I've done a whole lot of harm in this world before. Before I, <clears throat> yeah, got, you yeah, know, yeah, found me recovery. too, man. I mean, that's exactly why I enjoy it so much because you know, as I'll never be able to make up for. No. The amount of harm I did in 30 years of the madness, but I can sure try, you mm-hmm. know, and, and to see that we are making a difference mm-hmm. is 
it's amazing, man. And it just bolsters our recovery and help us, helps it to strengthen and grow, you know, it encourages us. That's, that's what I love about this, man, is that if you stay in position, all the things that you didn't want to hear when you were in treatment, those sayings, <laughs> stay in position, you know, trust the process. <laughs> when you do that stuff, it works, and it yep. just keeps it's a really good growing and getting better, man. Yeah, and the effort is, the, is, is, is worth every bit of it, man. Every bit of it. And and even in the bad times that, you know, we, we've experienced over the last few months of people, you know, succumbing to this disease, it almost seems like there's a couple more people we're able to help with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've, mm-hmm. I've, I've referenced loss and things like that because that is a reality of it. But it's not all it's, – it's, more often than not, it's, it's, it's bright. And, you know, it's cool, too, when I think about it, I'm sitting here thinking that, you know, we're sitting here having a podcast talking about recovery. What is the – other millions of people that are in recovery doing right now too you know what mm-hmm. are they planning what are, you know so it's all like one big connected web of, of just awesomeness i think you know aren't you doing a digital lit- literacy class yeah you know a, a lot of people you believe it or not don't properly know how to utilize computer technology or to stay safe on there mm-hmm. with uh you know putting their information out on the internet so i've uh decided to try to do my part and kind of uh <clears throat> teach people how to because i'm a nerd of course but teach people how to you know have safer practices of, of internet surfing and mm-hmm. where to put their information just to keep people safe because yeah. don't want to lose a, a bank account you just got just because you put it's your... a big change from what you used to do with people's yeah we're gonna talk about <laughs> 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 you gotta learn some way you know turn turn it turn it into the to the positive but I'm able to use things like that to help people today, luckily. And it all, it's all worth it, you know. So, and you got Joey over here to change the subject. It got weird real quick for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. I made, made, uh, made Nathan made me nervous. So, uh, yeah, I got, me. got, got Nate. Nate. Now so people aren't going to trust me when I <laughs> <don't think laughs> put my phone down, Nathan. <laughs> I'm just trying to log on to your email. But you everyone on. comes to you with their phone, Joe. You can trust me. You know, thank God. And that's part of my give back to the community, I guess. You know, using my brain. You have to use my brain. <laughs> what were you going to say to Joey? Joey, I love you. I love you too, man. <laughs> oh, it was just a complete I know, dis- really, really. distraction. <laughs> I love the fact that you can sign, dude. Like, I, I can't wait to see how you you make a splash in all of this with people. You know? Yeah, how, I can't wait to see how you make a splash in the web of awesomeness. Yeah, that's a good way to call it, man. The web of awesomeness? That's what Nathan make referred to. Yeah, yeah. Recovery is a web of awesomeness. Huh? Yeah. That sounds pretty rock to me. Yeah. yeah. No, it, and don't forget to check out uh, Matt's YouTube channel for the new video we just uploaded. Yeah, his singing wasn't We're not allowed too to bad. promote that on here. Oh, no, no, well, just yeah. delete it out then. Yeah, yeah no, right. I won't. But I'm like, I, I reprimanded you. That is my fault. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't know. I'm just trying to rep for my boy who works really hard and tries to be that much more of a light shiner. I, I don't really work that hard. I just having fun, man. Yeah, you do well. Need some model tune. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys, you know, chip in, get me an auto tune? They're not cheap. They're not. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. You know? <laughs> recovery, ain't, you know, recovery ain't brought that yet. I feel like that's on you, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like to keep it all natural, man. Like I don't want to like set people. Mm-hmm. Once I start performing all these big live shows, I know when, when are those coming up? <laughs> they're going to be let down if all they hear is the auto tune. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I like to keep expectations low, yeah. low, nice and yeah. low. All right, guys. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah man. I just want to do a quick one to tell, uh, talking about what recovery means to us, man. And, uh, um, it's Nathan's awesome. wearing his name tag. Nathan's wearing his name tag. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's cool. I mean, but we're sitting in a podcast. I'm like, that's that's really well, formal he, for he the he podcast. Just I just got forgot back to take the it matter off. Van. Oh, no. He's been out all day. You know, my shirt. No, no my shirt's still buttoned. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I love you guys. Love, love you too, too buddy. It's uh, going to be a great month. Uh, check us out on YouTube or audio versions on Apple, Google, Spotify, Podbean, Amazon Music. And as always, stay great. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction or in recovery and needs guidance, 
Speak with Turning Point's team of peer support specialists by calling 270-444-3621. You are not alone, and we are proof that recovery is possible.